how to create a zigzag pattern in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC220, but 219, 218, etc. View menu and new guide layout. Now go with 1010 for the rows and columns. Click OK. You could use 2020, 3030, etc. Make certain the view menu and snap and snap to are on, all the guides, etc. Then go to the pen tool. What you want to do, just quickly use the pen tool and it's using currently black, but you can always change that at any point. Resize that a bit so I can actually see the intersections of the guides. And I want to click on the intersections of the guides going across. Just go there and make certain the left side matches the right side. And that's the key thing throughout this. Well, you could, of course, create a zigzag that doesn't do that. But then you'll end up having a slight jarring line in it. So you can go up and down across as you go across. Then go to the right side. And once you've done that, go down a bit. Go don't have to go down the full lot, but of course it does help if you use the actual cells that have been added. And of course you don't need the guides. You could just do this yourself. Just line it up yourself. Up to you. But I find the guides are very helpful. And again, follow exactly the same. But again, you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. You can always make the zigzag a bit more unusual. Finish the path, so it's all now a closed path. What you can then do is you can go to the Layers panel. That's in the Window menu. And you can double click on the entry to change the color. So View and Layers. But you can double click to change the color. So you can change it from black to red, green, blue, etc. You can also go to the Layer Contents menu in the Layer and Layer Contents. So you've done that, go over to the rectangle marquee tool and select the area there. And you should be able to select that really nicely. And once you've done that, go to the edit menu and define pattern. Click OK. Go to the select menu and deselect. It's a layer. You can duplicate it. So hold down the Alt or Option key and drag, and you'll create another layer. Now you don't have to drag it all the way down to that next slot. It doesn't have to go that far. You could just maybe make it a very small move. But as long as the left side matches the right side, that's fine. You can change the color of the layer via the Layer menu and Layer Content options. Personally, I prefer just to double click the entry in the Layers panel. You can also change the color as well as add bevels, etc., via layer menu and layer style. So just add a drop shadow, etc., but avoid changing the edge. So keep the edge, the left and right, the same. Create a new selection using the rectangular marquee tool. Once selected, go to the edit menu and define pattern. You could, of course, at the same time, do define brush if you want a brush as well. Give it a name, click OK. Go to the Select menu and deselect. Select both of those zigzags now. You can duplicate both of those. Hold down the Alter Option key and drag. And you'll end up with four copies. And again, like I say, you don't have to match exactly like that. You could maybe make it further down, maybe make it closer to the, the red one. Up to you long as the left matches the right. So select that and then go to the Edit menu and Define Pattern. Click OK. Now what you can do, you can of course change the colors. Just double click on the there, on the thumbnail. Change the color. We go for blue. Then you go to the other one, double click on that. Maybe go for orange, click OK. So you've got that. And of course, you've still got it 
selected so you can go straight away to the edit and define pattern now i'm not going to do any more but you could of course continue to manipulate this you can also manipulate the inner part of the zigzag maybe apply effects or distortions or perhaps use a gradient over it as long as you make certain that both of the sides match the left and right go to the edit menu and fill use the pattern option and then change custom pattern. Go to the one, I'm just gonna go for the red one and click okay. And you can see it just apply. Now, cause you had a white background, you can see white there. If you had green, it would have been red and green. So I'm just gonna go for a gradient. Just quick create a gradient there. Go to the edit menu and fill. Perhaps go to the custom pattern and maybe select one of the others. Then click OK. Once applied, you can see the underlying gradient, which of course could be an image or something else, maybe text, etc. Another option, go to layer menu and new layer. So now the fill will be applied to a layer. Layers are so much easier to manipulate, you can delete them, etc. Go to the edit menu and fill. Select maybe a new pattern, one of the others. You can see some of the other patterns that I created in earlier tutorials. Click OK. Once applied, you can see the underlying gradient. As a layer, you can always go and apply layer styles to it. You can then add a bevel, gradient overlay, color, drop shadow, stroke, etc. You can also add styles via the window menu and styles. There's a whole selection of them there. There's a drop shadow there. So you can create all kinds of lovely zigzag designs. And then styles, maybe quickly go and apply a metallic a chrome effect. You can also use the zigzags in a number of other features that use patterns. So again, layer menu and new layer and fill. Select different pattern there. You can also use scripts, maybe random fill or symmetry fill. Symmetry fill is really good as well. And you've got that lovely design there. Click OK. You can change density, etc. You can see your design there. Doesn't particularly look like a zigzag anymore, but it's there. What you can also do is go to a layer menu and layer style and pattern overlays if you've got a layer. You can also use new fill layer. So just go down to new fill layer and use pattern. Click OK. Give it a name, click OK. And you can change obviously the pattern there. You can also scale it. If you decide to change your mind, select any of the others. These ones I create, that one I created earlier. So you can go with that one. You can change the scale. You can also move it around. So if you want to offset it slightly, do that as well. Also, what you can do, of course, because you've got the background, trans you've got the transparency, you can actually create another one. You can go to the layer menu and duplicate. So you can duplicate the same design and then, of course, you can move it around. So you've got two layers now, two fill layers. And you can just move them around and create some very abstract zigzag designs as well. Of course, what you can also do, you can go to the layer and double click again on that and bring up and change the scale. Maybe make it 25 or 50. And you can see again, you can create some really weird and wonderful designs that way. You can also remove the background layer. There. So you've got that design. Well, what you can also do, you can obviously rasterize it via the layer menu. You can also add 
adjustments to it. Change the scale if you want to make it 50. It's live, so you can change it all the time. You can also go, I say, go to layer menu and new layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, or any of the other lookups or vibrance, etc. You can change the hue, you can change the saturation, you can also change it colorize as well, if you wish. And they're live. So you can always go back and change that at any point, that adjustment. Of course, what you could also do, you could always change the uh, layer into a smart object as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always any new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. Comments, always appreciated. Dislike or like. Thank you much.